Hi, this is Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com. Today I want to show you a baby book that I just completed. This book was made completely from scratch. I created the pages by making digital cutting files from a digital scrapbooking kit that you can get from JustSoScrappy2TOO.com. You will be able to get these cutting files from my my site scrappycutsonline.com I will show you how to make each individual page in future videos but today I just wanted to showcase the book itself so let's get started I wanted my pages to look like the pages that are made with the digital scrapbooking kit that you can get at just so scrappy 2.com much of the background papers I created myself. I used a mismatch of all kinds of different papers from different companies and I used stamps and glossy accents and ribbons and real pins to create each page. This particular page I used a safety pin. It has many layers. It also has a hidden pocket between the first layer of green and the brown dotted background that way you could put a little tag inside of it. I didn't put a tag in this one but that's something that you can do. You could probably make a pocket out of each one of these pages. And then the little heel that's in the front with the little fit prints, that's also a pocket that you can stick something in. This is a cute page with the stork bringing the baby in and um, the little tag that says special delivery. The brown dots on any of these pages I created by using a white gel pen and also my file that for the cutting file will also cut in the the stitches that you see on the brown circle and then I took my gel pen and outlined the stitches so that it looks like real stitches each of the pages are six inches by nine inches and all of the files for the pages have all of the measurements already pre-made so all you have to do is choose your backgrounds choose your the colors that you want to make the elements out of and then cut it out and then put it together there will be step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble the book as in all of my files in this particular one I use stamps to make the little grid marks on the the word boy and the the baby pouch that the stork is carrying and then I use stencils to put the footprints on the frame and in the the background each of the pages I use distress inks by Ranger and Tim Holtz I love Tim Holtz products and Ranger products and so it kind of gives the book a kind of a, a vintage type of feel but it's so cute and whimsical at the same time. On this page I use my white pen by Ink Sensuals, I think it's by Ranger also, to put the dots around on the brown and then I use gel pens to color in the stars because they were originally the same color as the, the moon but it wasn't bright enough for me so I decided to color them in and then also to write the words. I use a Tim Holtz stapler to attach the sleep tight to the stars in the lower left corner. On this page I used brown fiber for this to outline the sky and then put dots on the stars and dots on the background brown. Um, gel pens for sh sleep tight and then I colored in the yellow stars Again, each one of these files are proportionate to each other and one page is all in one file and another page is in another file. Look how cute this page turned out with a gingham background and then the little letter tags that spell baby. I use glossy accents to put on the B and the A and the B and the Y to make them more three-dimensional and it just kind of pops them out it looks so cute and then I use buttons for the middle of the stars with string inside the buttons 
here's another page with a circle frame I again the the digital file has your cutter cut in the little stitches and then I went over the stitches with a gel pen to make them pop out a little bit more the background I used a stencil and used metallic colored ink like I think it was platinum and then copper to make the footprints in the background I used a background stamp to stamp in the a lighter color on the brown to make it look more like a fabric I wanted this page to look more like a, a baby blanket and so I added um, lace on each side of the the page and then for the word boy I dotted it with a background stamp of a blue and then a silver on the top of it so I think it really made it pop out nicely the stitches on the square frame are also pre-cut with buttons and bows and ribbon this little page turned out so cute I also used brads in the wheels of the bassinet and I also used glossy accents for the letters to make the letters pop out a little bit more this page was so much fun to do by decorating the clothes I hand drew the little footprints in the onesie and used gel pens to color them in and decorated the socks and the little underwear the background was stamped to make it look more like a fabric to go with the clothes and I had a fun time with this one the book itself is made from covered chipboard and the binding is a technique that I learned from Laura from follow the paper trail she has some great videos out there if you haven't seen her videos there are so many great artists out there on YouTube and Laura is one of them check out her videos the saying on this book is created by Snickerdoodles and she also sells her items on JustSoScrappy2.com. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you stay tuned for the other videos that are yet to come. Thanks and have a great day.